I think FPU is great. I think this is something that this industry really, really needs more than any time ever in the history of fighting. Uh, with as many different promoters out there that Roy's talking about, um, the quality sometimes of what our fight fans are being accustomed to is kind of going down. And so coming to this kind of a, an event is very, very beneficial, not only for yourselves, but I think also for this entire industry. So I think it's great. It helps people like myself out as we're dealing with future matchmakers and future promoters that want to come to our building. Um, and I think that's a good way to start it. Um, marketing the sweet science. I think this can also apply to MMA. Um, how many are MMA focus, how many are boxing focus? MMA first. So a lot of your MMA and then boxing or the rest. So about half and half. Uh, essentially everything we're going to talk about today uh, with, with tweaks, as Roy mentioned, can be done for both MMA and for fight night. Uh, Roy mentioned that we're in our sixth season. Um, ultimately, the reason we've been successful, and we are a little different than a club show. I should you know, really tell you that the major difference we have um, is we have big sponsors that we need to cater to. So we've been able to go in and sign some $50,000 a year sponsors, some $20,000 a year sponsors. We're doing in the neighborhood of about $100,000, $115,000 if you add the trade in. Uh, we have budget relieving trade. So one of the ways that you can extend your dollar and not spend as much, we'll talk about later, is by doing the value added or the budget relieving trade type opportunities. So at the end of the day, we're doing about $115,000 in sponsorships, which means that we have to do some extra things. One of the things Roy doesn't do a lot of is spend on advertising and marketing. We have to because we have an obligation towards those sponsors. They're going to give us that kind of money. We need to make sure we give them the exposure. 